Hi guys, my name is Good News and um, I'm very happy to welcome you to 2022. Happy New Year. I wish that this would be a better year for you than last year was. And um, without wasting much time, I just want to share something. This period I'll be sharing some lessons and I wish to start from the keyboard today. I'm very thankful to you for staying with me and if you're just visiting my channel for the first time you're welcome and i hope that you will get that which you need to get from this video so quickly this is not for a professional keyboardist all right if you are a professional keyboardist and you are looking for something uh, really detailed or something that could add to your knowledge you might need to just check another video but this is for beginners all right now, if you've never played the keyboard before or you can sing very well, you wish to play, this is an introductory video for you, right? Now, I want to assume that you've heard of keys in music before, key C, key E, key D, and whatever name you might have already known about keys. But let me just say that uh, in music, there are 12 keys, all right? There are 12 keys in music, but alphabetically, there are seven, all right? So we start from A. Okay, we start from key A, key B, C, D, E, F, G. There is no H. It is A to G. Now, in between, we have um, some keys that are like A sharp, C sharp. You must have heard keys like F sharp. So these things are on the keyboard, and I'm going to show you where they are and how to spot them, all right? So in this video, you're going to learn how to spot them, what they look like. And this is a simple keyboard, just a five octave keyboard, all right? You might not understand what an octave means right now, but don't worry. Maybe some other time I will create a content on that. But for this video, we just want to introduce you to, I just want to introduce you to the keys on the keyboard, all right? So if you have a keyboard at home, at the end of this video, you should be able to identify the keys. This is for a learner, all right? Don't be afraid if you find a grand piano or you find a motif. They are the same, all right? Black and white keys. So that's the first thing you need to know. There are black keys and there are white keys. Now they have names. They're not just here for being here's sake. They have names and it's good we try to know the names of these keys. I will help you to know the names, but you have to try and help yourself at this point. So let's see what we can find from here. Take a look at the video closely. Now... There's this root sign, and then it says C, all right? So this is key C. So this is key C. And then the next is what? Look at the space. Okay, D. So this is key D. Now, between C and D, what do we have? C sharp. Can you see it? Yeah, C sharp. That sign means sharp. That is like your hash on your keyboard. C sharp or D flat. So it's C sharp or D flat. Now, when we read from left to right, you say this is C. And from to the right, this is C sharp. All right? And then this is D. But if we're reading backwards, it is D flat. So C sharp is the same as D flat. So what does this sign do to the key? It raises it by a semitone, all right? Just half tone higher. For instance, this is C. That's how it sounds. And then it is raised by a semitone. So that's C, C sharp. All right. Now this is D. This is D flat. So lowered by a semitone. So when you lower D by a semitone, you get D flat. So C, C sharp. You must have heard of modulation before. Oh, we are modulating by a semitone. We are not modulating and stuff like that. So when we modulate, we move, all right? We change the tone of the of the music or let's say the tone of the key. We take it a semitone higher or a whole tone higher. So from C to D is a whole tone, right? Now, these are the keys. Let's take a look at the rest of them. C, D, E. So between D and E, what do we have? We have D sharp or E flat. I'm sure you understand why already, why we have sharp or flat and what it means. So D, E. Now this is F, All right? Mm -hmm. Key F, when you say, give me key F, I want to sing in key F. You expect to hear this note. 
All right, this is a very high note. I'm sorry I'm using this part of the keyboard so you can see the labels. We will use the other part later, the other parts, okay? So F and this is F sharp or G flat. G. And then I told you that there is no H. So from G, we go back to A. So we have G sharp or A flat. And then this is A. And then this is A sharp or B flat. And this is B. Okay. So this last one is C. Okay. is C. But basically, this is how you identify them. All right. Let me help you out. So we see black keys and white keys. All right. Now they are arranged in pairs. On any keyboard, grand piano, whatever, they are arranged in pairs. We have pairs of two blacks and pairs of three blacks, right? Pairs of two blacks, pairs of three blacks. Now, let's move this way. Pairs of two blacks, pairs of three blacks. Three blacks, two blacks, three blacks, two blacks. So, there is a gap between the pairs, all right? Now, this is a simple way to explain it to you. What is key C? Or how can I identify key C on the keyboard, on any keyboard? If you want to identify key C and you want just the keyboard is to play on that key or you want to sing in that key, so you just go the first white key before the pair of two blacks. The first white key before the pair of two blacks is key C. The first white key before the pair of three blacks is key F. All right, so this is key C, this is key F, all right, this is key C, this is key F. You see, you can identify them, all right, very simple. So if you want to go to the others, just try to describe it in a way that will be simple for you to identify. I choose to describe it this way. Now, take a look. Key D is the white key in between the pair of two blacks. Key D. So when we come over here and try to remember the label, all right? Now we're using, sorry, we're using a keyboard, PSRO E 343, a home keyboard for learners, all right? Professionals can use it to make great sounds too. So pardon me for using the word learners, all right? Now, um, this is key D, okay? The white key in between the pair of two blacks. So when we see a pair of two blacks, in between is D. So this is D. All right, so when I want to play something nice, this is D and this is D. Sounds the same, but different pitch. I mean, different uh, different levels of tonality. It's kind of higher here. Yeah? The pitch is higher, way higher here. Yeah? All right, I'm playing. This is D ninth. All right, you you might not understand it, but just enjoy the sound. Right, this is D. This is D major. That's a higher level, but I'm just trying to help you understand that when you see the keyboard is moving this way, moving left and right, they are actually um, changing the the tones, making it higher, lower, and and they're playing in the same key. They're just, I mean, they're making music, all right? After the music is a combination of sounds into, you know, patterns that please the hearing, okay? That are pleasing to the ear. So. So, I mean, uh, this is D. Now, this is E. The first key, the white key just after the pair of two blacks. E. This is E. This is E. All right? So, and then let's just run through how we can describe all of them. C is the white key before the pair of two blacks. C sharp is the first black key in the pair of two blacks. In a pair of two blacks. D is the first, I mean, the white key in between a pair of two blacks. D is a white key in between the pair of two blacks. D sharp or E flat is the second black key in a pair of two blacks. So, when you find a pair of two blacks, the second one is what? D sharp or E flat. Now, anyways, let me just run it to the end. E, first white key after the pair of two blacks. First white key before a pair of three blacks is F. And then F sharp, the first black key in a pair of three blacks. 
G is the white key after the first black in the pair of three blacks. This is G sharp and it is the middle black key in the pair of three blacks. A is the white key just after the second black key in the pair of three blacks. Or the white key before the last black key in the pair of three blacks. I don't know how you're going to remember this, but I just want to trust that somehow you will remember it. And this is B, the last black key or the third black key in a pair of three blacks. And I mean B flat. This is B flat or A sharp, the last black key in a pair of three blacks or the third black key in a pair of three blacks. And then this is B. So B is the white key after, just after the pair of three blacks. All right. Now that's for the uh, identification of the keys, how you can identify them. All right. Um, you can replay the video to get that part and to master them. But the truth is you don't need to memorize that. The moment you know that this is C and this is D, E, F, G, a, B. You will find it easy to identify the others, okay? C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Alright? Now, between C and D is C sharp or D flat. Mm -hmm. I, I guess this is easier for some persons. Between D and E is what? D sharp or E flat, okay? Between F and G is F sharp or what? G flat. Between G and A is what? G sharp or A flat. Between A and B is what? A sharp or B flat. So C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. A simple warm up exercise for for you you can try it you can lower the octave can drop it down the same thing so C D E F G A B C C B A G Sorry, sorry. C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C. So you can take this home today as your, maybe something special to try on your keyboard at home. I say, Lena, just use your thumb, right? Your thumb on C. Remember, C is the first white in a pair of two blacks. So use your thumb. Mm -hmm. Use your index finger. You lift the thumb so you use one finger at a time for this stage mm -hmm. use your middle finger use your ring finger no 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 you don't use your ring finger okay you don't use it you have to use your thumb again okay so that the others can fill up all right so we start again use your index finger use your middle finger Use your thumb again for F, and then your other fingers are naturally going to fall on the re the rest keys. Okay, the other keys. So, all right. Then you repeat your middle finger here. You see, very easy. guys so today you know what this black and white keys mean the blacks 
are for the sharps or flats okay you say sharp when you're reading from the left to the right c to d all right reading from left to right c sharp all right when you're reading from right to left d flat so you can just say please play d flat for me i want to sing in d flat and the keyboard is expected to give you something like something that sounds like this Lord, you reign forever. You are the same. So, like that's just a simple song. So, you can you can just spot it. Like this is the key, okay? For example, so this is E. All right. So this is confusing for now, or it might be too much for you to understand. But don't worry too much about what I'm doing. Just try to get the main lesson for today you need to be able to identify a particular key on the keyboard don't see it as a mystery like what's this wow i don't understand there are too many come on they are not too many they are just from here to here all right they are just this 12 okay and basically repetitions repeated at different uh, tonal level lower pitch this way to the left higher pitch to the right this this is just the same thing okay so today you know the keys in music i mean on the keyboard of course they are the same as the keys in music the keys in music so you know the keys on the keyboard and you can play at a higher level we can say you can read them by their software notations or tonic softwares do re mi fa so practice this at all so this is what we call c major scale the c major scale key c key c c major scale the second take home lesson for you so try this and uh, you should be you know be able to feel a bit confident in front of the keyboard you know that you have at home or in your church take some time to try these things i will try to send more lessons and if you have particular lessons things you want to learn about it, the keyboard all right you are free to specify them in the comments okay i will check them go through the comments and prepare contents for them all right this period i'm i'm, I'm interested in sharing some knowledge with you about how to play musical instruments all right as you can see there is a guitar there, an acoustic guitar, all right? So I'm just at home. I'm just relaxing, and I just feel I should share something nice. Once again, Happy New Year, and thank you for subscribing to my channel. See you. Stay blessed. Bye.